Hey everyone, welcome to another ranking, and here's my ranking for Guillermo del Toro's movies. Yes, the movie Crimson Peak just came out, and I thought I'd do a ranking of all of Guillermo del Toro's movies. I love his direction, I love his movies, so let's get into it. Here's my personal ranking of Guillermo del Toro's movies from my least favorite to my favorite. Alright, let's start with number 9. Coming number 9 is Blade 2. His Blade 2, I think, is his weakest movie, but that being said, I still don't mind Blade 2. Blade Trinity is fucking awful. That was one of the worst superhero movies ever. I hate Blade Trinity. Blade 1 is still the best Blade movie, but Blade 2 is fine. Blade 2, Guillermo del Toro took over the direction, and I love the different direction it went. It's still a very still a very over-the-top, vampire, gruesome movie, but it's fine. It's decently directed. The effects look good. Wesley Snipes is awesome, and Guillermo del Toro did a good job directing this film, so it's okay. Not an amazing movie, and it's definitely his weakest film, but I don't mind it. Gun number eight is Hellboy. Yes, this is going to be a shock to a lot of people. I love all the Hellboy movies, but I'm actually one of the majority that I think Hellboy 1 is worse than the second one. And I still really like Hellboy. I really like the first Hellboy. I think it's a great movie. I love the effects, the action, and I love Hellboy himself, and I love that Ron Perlman did it. He did a fantastic job. And I love Selman Blair and, and Doug Jones. They all, they're all great. John Hurt. And I liked Guillermo del Toro's writing and direction in the film, just... The first one had a lot more cliches, you know, it kind of had, you know, the misunderstanding cliche and the love triangle, and it was the most predict predictable out of the two Hellboy movies, and it had a very weak villain. I didn't like the villain in this movie. Other than that, other than its cliches and the shitty villain, I still like the, the good characters, the good guys. I love the story, the, effect, the effects, and the performances were really solid, and I thought Game of Thrones did a good job directing the movie. It's not, again, just like Blade 2, it's not an amazing movie, but I like it. Coming number seven is Mimic. If you love good monster movies, especially monster movies about bugs, Mimic's for you. Yeah, M Mimic's a great movie. I love monster movies, and if you love movies like The Fly, I think Mimic would be a good movie for you. I know this is like one of the weaker Game of Thrones movies, but I actually like this movie. I thought it was good. Like, James Brolin's in this movie. He's awesome. Mira Sorvina, she's great, and... I just love good classic monster movies, and I like Game of Del Toro directing monster movies, so yeah, that's why I like Mimic. It's a good movie. Coming number six is The Devil's Backbone. I'll keep this short. Uh, if you love underrated thrillers, watch this movie. If you don't mind subtitles, watch this movie. It's a good movie. It's not as clever as I thought it would be, but it's still a good movie. Some good characters, good performances, and some pretty creepy imagery. It's kind of like Crimson Peak. Don't watch it just for the scares. Watch it for its story. It's a good story and a very good movie. You gotta like subtitles, though. There's some subtitles in this movie. Other than that, watch this movie. Next. Coming number five is Pacific Rim. Yes, this is the most silliest, the most ridiculous Guillermo del Toro movie. But that's why I love it. This is a great sci-fi action movie. This is the closest I'll ever get to a Gundam Wing movie or a Neon Genesis movie, like, this was freaking awesome. I loved this movie. It is so cheesy, and it's got some really bad acting, especially by Charlie Hunnam and that girl who plays Mako and a few other the supporting characters. Some pretty bad acting and some pretty flawed elements to the story, but it's just such a fucking blast to watch. I love the effects. The CG looked incredible, and those fucking Jaegers looked awesome, just awesome. The kaijus look really sweet. The action is some of the sweetest action you'll watch. It's just awesome. And the characters in the movie that I do like are awesome characters. I love Idris Elba. I love Ron Perlman. And I love Charlie Day. The rest of them are not But those three characters are awesome. And they're enough to get the movie going. And this movie is fun. I just, I love it for the fun of it. This is like, just such a fun movie. This is one of the most fun movies in the past like decade. It's just a fun movie. It's pretty dumb. It's really silly. It's got a lot of flaws. But it's just a lot of fun. Pacific Rim is a fun-ass movie. Coming number four is Kronos. This is the movie when it is the more and more it keeps going, the more and more interesting and the more and more thrilling and the more and more creepy it gets. This is kind of like a, this is a vampire movie. It's about a Kronos, this device that uh, when you touch it and it sucks from your blood, you get turned into a vampire. And this is what happens to the lead character in this movie. And in the meantime, there's a guy after the Kronos trying to kill him because he wants the immortal life and all that shit. This is a good movie. I really like it. It's very slow, but the slowness actually helps it and it makes the, it makes the story all the more fascinating. And it, it brought a lot more atmosphere to the film and it actually made the film more and more creepy as the film kept going. The slowness added a lot more atmosphere and it just made it more creepy, more cringeworthy. 
which I really liked about the film. The last act of the film is really awesome. That's when it gets really awesome. And I just really like this movie. It is to the point where right when it starts, it's don't, no, no lollygagging around, just gets right into the chronos, tells you what it is, and it just begins with the story, and it's very well done. I love, I love Guillermo del Toro's direction, I love the performances, one of the first movies with Ron Perlman, he's great in it, and yeah, I just really liked it, it's a good movie. It's a good vampire movie, and it's a good Guillermo del Toro movie. Coming number three is Crimson Peak, yes, the movie I just saw, just saw a few days ago. Again, this is such an underrated movie, one of the most underrated movies of the year. Why are people bashing this movie? It's awesome! I love Crimson Peak. I thought it was so good. Don't treat it as a horror movie. Don't treat it as, like, this scary movie. If you treat it as a gothic romance, you'll have a lot more fun with the movie. A gothic romance with some horror elements to it. If you want to see my opinions, go watch my review. Uh, Crimson Peak, I'm going to take complete details with that, and yeah, just watch that. And you'll see what I thought of Crimson Peak. Obviously, it's at number three. I love Crimson Peak. Fantastic movie. Mia Makaska, Tom Hiddleston, Jessica Chastain, Charlie Hanum, Jim Beaver all gave brilliant performances. It's a beautiful looking movie. The cinematography, production design, costume design all look amazing. The ghosts look cool. The characters are awesome. And you're just entertained from start to finish. And it's just a beautiful movie to look at. And one of Guillermo del Toro's best films. Coming number two is Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. Yes, basically what Hellboy did, Hellboy 2 did much better. It had no predictability, it wasn't cliched, and it actually had an awesome villain. I love the elf prince, he's such a badass villain. And I love the twin sister, I love how they're twins and they're connected. He gets her, she gets her. I love that element in a movie. The characters are back, they're more and more interesting, more and more hilarious to watch. I love Hellboy, Ron Perlman, Ellen Blair, and Doug Jones are all back. Seth MacFarlane's in this movie, he's fucking hilarious, one of my favorite characters in the film. The effects are much better, there's practicality in CG, and they both look great. I love the story of the Golden Army, the mythos of the, of the Golden Army, and it's just a very good movie. It's a great action-adventure movie. It's also got a brief romances with a couple different stories, and they both work. It's got a good score, good music, and just a really good story. Guillermo del Toro did a fantastic job, one of the best superhero movies, and one of the best Guillermo del Toro movies. And my number one favorite Guillermo del Toro movie, and of course, everyone's favorite, Pan's Labyrinth. This is not only one of the best foreign films, best fantasy films, well, not the best, but one of the best, but it's the best Game of Thrones movie, hands down. It's so freaking good. The effects look amazing. The cinematography is beautiful. The performances are top-notch. It, it tries to be a kid's movie. It is not a kid's movie. I went into this movie thinking it was like this Narnia kind of movie. It fucking isn't. It is not. It is like Narnia meets Labyrinth meets Schindler's List. That's what Pan's Labyrinth is. This movie is messed right up, but it's fucking brilliant. It's got a little hint of Alice in Wonderland as well. I love the characters in this movie. They're really good. I love how gruesome and gratuitous this movie is. It's, that's what makes it all the more awesome. It's darkness and bleakness. Just make it all the more amazing. I love this movie. The effects, the creatures, the monsters all look good. And the story is so thought-provoking. You don't know of all of this if it's real or if it's in this girl's imagination. And you just love it. You just love it. How, I love how this movie just toys with you. It's just brilliant. Brilliantly executed, amazingly directed, and wonderfully written, and I love this movie. Probably one of my favorite foreign films of all time, and my favorite Guillermo del Toro movie. So yeah, that was my ranking of the Guillermo del Toro movies, my least favorite to my favorite. So in the comment section below, please tell me, did you agree with me? If not, give me your ranking of the Guillermo del Toro movies. Comment below, let me know. And as always, like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.